Overnight, the governor declaring a state of emergency here in Colorado as fast-moving wildfires leave behind an apocalyptic trail of destruction, burning down hundreds of homes. Structure is in imminent danger, people refusing to evacuate. Fires forcing mandatory evacuations for entire towns. You can smell the smoke and there's a lot of ash blowing. I have people there that need to be evacuated that are unable to do so themselves. Residents in Superior and Louisville, located near Boulder, pouring the contents of their lives into their cars, rushing to escape the furious flames, aided by wind gusts up to 115 miles per hour. That whole west side of Louisville is fire. completely smoked out. You cannot see anything. Knowing that the fire is only blocks away and that it really, you really could never see those family photos again, that part was harder than even just seeing the, the devastation. Panic breaking out inside this Chuck E. Cheese packed with kids as fire raced towards the building. We really started to see the sky turn dark and um, we sensed that there was a pretty bad fire, but we didn't know that uh, there was a, an intense fire right beside us. Jason Fletcher and his wife Heidi inside with their family recording the chaos. When we got into the car, our faces were covered in black ash and debris and it, we had masks on and it was in our mouths. On highways, big rigs flipped on their sides. The conditions so bad, hospitals forced to evacuate patients. I have never experienced anything like this. Every neighborhood around us was in flames. At least one first responder and six others injured in the fires. Thousands of people are still under evacuation this morning. Many left wondering exactly what they'll have when they come back. And we're going to get snow in the forecast later here today, but it's really going to be too little too late. Wit.